I grew up with a car system basically, so I'd had mental health problems from when I was really young and I was left throughout my 20s with flashbacks. It led to addiction and that was me um, on the street. I do believe if I had that help, I would have taken maybe a different path in life. I've seen people out there, I've had deaths in the family, and then that's when their problems started. You know, it's just a cycle, just going around, you know, going around in circles. It was a family disagreement, a family breakdown. You, you don't deal with your mental health, your homeless life is going to become worse. It goes hand in hand. If you get the, the right help at the right time for your mental health, you may not become homeless. You may be able to work on your problems and maybe resolve your issues with your family and stuff. And sometimes you can't even get a GP being homeless because you don't have that fixed address. So it, it is really hard for people facing these issues to know where to go to. They don't look at your mental health issue, they look at your addiction issue and they don't look at you for mental health if you have an addiction. We all have similar issues and that's the, that's the, that's the most amazing thing when you look at it that way. We've all got the same issues. I did get involved with the Paul and there was one girl there called Alicia and I could tell by looking at her she felt my pain. I'd never met anybody like that before. Chrissy was a support worker and we just clicked because she seen me for me. She seen the real Sean. She didn't see the homeless down and out. She seen the person behind the scars. And I'm still getting that support from DePaul. So I'm just taking each day as it comes. You know, people think that once you're in recovery, that's it. You know, it doesn't work like that. I think you need more support as well when you're in recovery to continue your journey. It's okay to be not okay to pick up a phone and reach out to your closest and dearest, even though you might not want to, but it always helps to talk. We need a person-centred approach. There is hope out there. Don't give up. Do not give up. That is really, really important. Look at the person and not the issue.